I could literally cry right now because I thought I was going to mess this up, but it's looking so good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. So this is part two of the review of the NYX Ultimate Bright Palette. So I will link the first video that I did. It should be on one of these places up there. It is like the swatches and like my first thoughts. Um, but yeah, so with this video, I'm gonna actually create a look with the palette. So I'm super excited, so. Let's get started. Starting off with priming my face with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. Then I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. Then I'm just putting some CoverGirl Concealer on my problem areas as well as my brow bone. I'm going in with my Tarte Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. Then I'm just putting some powder on and letting that bake for a while. Then I'm going in with my e.l.f. Eyebrow Pencil and filling in my brows. Okay, so now for the part that we've all been waiting for, it's actually going in with the palette and creating a look. Before I start, I'm gonna put some concealer on my eyelids. It's gonna act as um, like eyeshadow primer. So the look that I'm gonna go for today is a look that I have seen a lot on Pinterest and it's this gorgeous sunset look. So you have pinks and you have orange and a little bit of yellow. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So I am going to start by going in with this color and then I'm going to go in with this color and then I'm going to end it with this one. So this is a trick that I saw I think on TikTok. You just use this to get like that wing look because people use tape and I think that is the stupidest thing ever because this is such a sensitive area. Why would you use tape and then rip it off after? Girl, we're just gonna go for it. So yeah, I am putting this like on the top of my crease. Um, you're not gonna see a lot of this at the very end because the orange is gonna go above it, but you know, we just want a little yellow in there since we're kind of going for a sunset look. So now I'm gonna go in the other eye and just apply. So now that we have the yellow, we're gonna go in with this like orangey peach. So because I did the yellow like on the upper crease, the orange is going to go pretty much over that, but we're gonna leave a little yellow for you to see. I am shook. Okay, I would have never thought that I would look good in orange, but I look good in orange. Who knew? You guys, this is turning out so pretty. I truly am loving this look.
So now I'm going in with a mascara. This is the Grande Mascara. Fun fact, I actually got this for free on Amazon. Um, I was looking at like um, Lash Growth Serum on Amazon and like two days later I got a free sample from Amazon for Lash Serum and Mascara. So thanks FBI agent. So I want to keep the lips kind of neutral. I'm going to go on like this pink berry and just put a little on. I'm going to go in with this um, lip gloss. I'm going to go in with the NYX Illuminator. And this is the final look. You guys, I am so happy with how this turned out. I truly am shook. I did not think I could achieve this look. But I can't, maybe I'm actually a makeup YouTuber after all. If anything else, get this palette for these three colors just so you could recreate this sunset glow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so happy that it turned out so good. And if you like what you saw, subscribe below and follow me on Instagram at Kelly Marie Carmack. And enjoy your day. I'm going to take a bunch of photos now. Bye.